Welcome to Long Arm Wednesday. I'm Laura Lynn of the Mom and Pop Quilt Shop and we're very happy to see you here today. Today we're working on a very beautiful project. It's actually a wedding gift and it has a center panel of wolves and then wolf fabric uh, bordering up uh, or in the center of a, like a log cabin. So I'm, I'm calling it a wolf log cabin. And uh, so what I have here on the far side, which is already stitched out, is a very natural leaf pattern and emerald thread. And because I didn't really feel that this beautiful center panel here should be stitched through uh, in an edge to edge, I said, let's, let's kind of highlight it. So that's what we're gonna do today, okay? So we're just gonna highlight this beautiful wolf pattern. So what I thought I'd do here is besides I'll do the I'll do the inside and the outside on this one another time but I'll show you how I'm just going to kind of come up on follow uh, the natural of what they have of this little log the birch log here as a border and then just kind of follow myself around and stitch in so we'll do the border first and then we'll work on one of the wolves okay so that's what we're going to do today let's start down here Okay. 12 stitches per inch. We're not changing the thread color even though we're in uh, some blue and um, brown <clears throat> brown sort of stages uh, but um, we're just we're just gonna go for it okay so I'm just gonna ride along okay. following the natural curve of the birch. Okay. And be patient. You don't have to be speedy Gonzales for this. And of course, move with your project. It has a solid blue backing, and I really want it to stand out on the opposite side. Okay, don't forget to move. I'm just trying to follow the little bits and bobs of the birch as an inside border piece for these wolves. Okay. It takes time. Just got to be patient with yourself and the project. Okay. Don't mind Squeaky Walt, he has been oiled, so I don't know why he's being squeaky. Okay. And then just do your best that you can to follow the inside, outside, whatever line you're looking at. Okay, okay. I'm just going to stop that there while I move. Okay, there we go. Just so I can adjust. There we go, and we'll move again. Do all the way around the outside first, and then we'll start in on the panel itself. Okay, there we go, we'll stop for a moment. Okay. A beautiful wedding gift that's for sure love it love it love it especially if they're right into nature which apparently they are so hence why we were picking the uh, leaves stitch out and so on and so forth okay so now that that whole border piece is stitched down we kind of want to highlight uh, the wolf so I'm just kind of going to go around this one here and uh, see how it turns out okay still continuing with this beautiful uh, dark green thread 
like I said, just kind of trying to mimic the fur or the fur lines or whatever it is. And you just kind of want to go with the flow. Don't want to make any straight lines here. We really want it to be that depth and texture of the, you know, the free motion fun of outlining something very unique like these beautiful wolves. Okay, around the jaw, around the teeth and the nose. Try to stay on the outside, not necessarily on the inside because you don't want any of those features to be distorted by maybe running your stitches into them or something, right? So. Don't forget to move. Okay, and we'll continue on with this one. Again, I was filling the other spot that leads the two wolves together. Just hugging those wispy, furry kind of edges. You know. Okay, and around the tooth, the big howl of the open jaw, the beautiful whiskers. Again, around this nose, just want to hug it as close as we can. Around the ears, one and two. We can come back and do more details with those ears if we are so inclined. Okay, all right, all right, there we go on that part. Okay. Put those stitches in. Okay, now we'll come up on the inner part here. And we just want to highlight all the beautifulness that's in the panel already, right? the bottom here and then again up on the side here. And that, I'm just gonna highlight a few more spots in here. I'm gonna go around some of the big trees that are in the background here. Oh, let me just move, cut some of these threads here. So I don't want to take away from what we've worked on so far. Uh, highlight some of these dark trees in the background and of course around the moon and a bit of the foliage. And that's pretty much this project almost done. So, and it's got a nice little, uh, a uh, feather with a swirl of texture for the border. And uh, yeah, we definitely set that up. So it's very pretty. So uh, I have done a little bit of the feather, or sorry, not the feather, but the leaf stitch out. So you can see that after after this. So take a, take a look and see how that is. And um, that's this project. So happy Wednesday, everybody. See you on the weekend project. We're gonna continue working on our um, Halloween 2019 quilt. And uh, we'll see you, we'll see you soon, okay?
Can't wait to see you on the weekend too, when we're gonna finish up, hopefully, finish up our line burst, burst quilt, okay? So take care everybody. Thanks for checking us out on Patreon and don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. We greatly appreciate that too. Thank you, big hugs from us at the Mom and Pop Quilt Shop. Bye-bye.